he activated Judge Robart's restraining rule. Details Very recently, a federal judge from Washington halted President Donald Trump's travel ban throughout the nation. Nowadays we heard that a federal judge dismissed the president's executive order. Judge James Robart, a federal judge who was placed by George W. Bush on the position. The White House got the response as soon as possible. They weigh, at the earliest possible time, the Department of Justice intends to file an emergency stay of this outrageous order and defend the executive order of the president, which we believe is lawful and appropriate. The president's orders is intended to protect the homeland and he has the constitutional authority and responsibility to protect the American people. The law clearly says, whenever the president finds that the entry of any aliens of any class of aliens into the United States would be detrimental to the interests of the United States, he may by proclamation, and for such period as he deem necessary, suspend the entry of all aliens or any class of aliens as immigrants or non-immigrants or impose on the entry of aliens any restrictions he may deem to be appropriate. Now it's clearly that the executive order was lawful. President Trump has any right to forbid people in entering the United States. Entering and prospering in America is a privilege, and not a Amazing. These states are making English their only language. Trump is awesome. Besides the constant struggle our country is facing from the outside of the borders, we are dealing with equally harsh pressure from the inside. And, thanks to the extreme liberal activists our number one enemy is Soros and his pawns. They know very well that in order to achieve their sinister goal, they have to make as many immigrants come to the U.S. as they can. One thing they've forgotten is the strength of the American people. We are strong and united, and we won't let our country to fall apart. Some states like Arizona, Arkansas, Colorado and several others have decided to make English their only language. According to Liberty is Viral, it's simple, speaking English is a basic necessity in America where most everyone speaks English and that is the official language. If that offends someone, they can leave and look for a job in a country in which they speak the language. Any foreigner who comes here should learn it in order to communicate with Americans and our government officials. This is how you make a strong nation. If Obama was still in charge, he would have made English not obligatory for working in America. And not only that, he would have said that an employer's requiring for the employee to speak English is considered discrimination. Thank God, Trump is our president and he doesn't stand this bull's tea. He is a real patriot that loves our country and our people. He won't stop protecting America and our nation's dignity. Do you support Donald Trump? Liberal protesters did something disgusting on an anti-Trump riot. Ever since Donald Trump got elected as the President of the United States, the liberals started spreading hate all over the country. They were blocking the traffic destroyed private property, injured people and caused much damage. This Saturday, the liberals did something that was too much even for them. According to the American news website LifeZet, around 5 p.m. 200 protesters blocked the traffic, blocking all the vehicles including an ambulance with a very ill patient inside. Because of this, the ambulance personnel was forced to perform an emergency medical procedure in the vehicle instead of at the hospital. The police were forced to use some measures to clean up the mess. The police officers tried to remove one protester who blocked the ambulance, and he gave resistance to the police too. According to the police, three protesters were arrested, while the patient health condition is still unknown to the public. We hope he's feeling better. New Heaven Assistant Police Chief Tony Reyes said, It's happening. We have to be ready to deal with and try to do it in a way that balances our commitment to community policing while keeping our officers safe. See how they behave, we all see that liberals are selfish and evil and think only about themselves while getting others people live in danger. Share to spread the Breaking Hillary Clinton finally comes out of hiding and made this disturbing video message. Hillary Clinton was nowhere to be seen after the massive defeat on the election by Donald Trump. However, today, she released a video that endorses people to riot against Trump. According to the Daily Mail, 
Clinton made a statement in the video which said to all the females to step up and speak out. Despite all the challenges we face, I remain convinced that, yes, the future is female. Just look at the amazing energy we saw last month as women organized a march that galvanized millions of people all over our country, and across the world. Now more than ever we need to stay focused on this year conference. Be bold. We need strong women to step up and speak out. We need you to dare greatly and lead boldly. So please, set an example for every woman and girl out there who's worried about what the future holds and wonders whether our rights, opportunities and values will endure. And remember, you are the heroes and history maker, the glass ceiling breakers of the future. As I've said before, I'll say again, never doubt that you are valuable and powerful and deserving of every chance and opportunity in the world. We can clearly see that Clinton tries to justify the aggressive riots against Donald Trump with this stupid video. This came weeks after Clinton praised the awe-inspiring men and women who had launched protests against Trump all over America. She spoke to the British tabloid People, saying, We watched women and men across this country and the globe stand up, speak out, and peacefully march for those values with one voice. It was awe-inspiring. We have to keep up the momentum. I will never stop believing in this country and our collective future. We are still and will always be, stronger together. I don't even get how this woman has the face to stand up and talk against Trump, after that big loss on the election, and the massive support people are giving him, even more after the election. Share if you disagree with Just in Melania Trump just received amazing news. She totally deserves it. Being the first lady of the United States is difficult. Melania Trump knows that the best. She was the target of the corrupt media all the time, because they had a grudge against Donald Trump. Nevertheless she handled that pressure with pure class and coolness. There was once a so-called journalist who wrote that before the marriage with Donald, Melania was a prostitute. She then went for a lawsuit, and the result was amazing. She got an incredible amount of money as a compensation for her lost dignity. Her lawyer Matthew Blackett said, The First Lady of the U.S. has settled her lawsuit against Webster Griffin Tarpley of Maryland. Mr. Tarpley has issued the attached retraction and apology to Mrs. Trump and her family, and agreed to pay her a substantial sum as a settlement. The Maryland writer saw his mistake and apologized immediately. He said, I acknowledge that these false statements were very harmful and hurtful to Mrs. Trump and her family, and therefore I sincerely apologize to Mrs. Trump and her family and therefore I sincerely apologize to Mrs. Trump, her son, her husband and her parents for making these false statements. It is a good thing to see some of the media finally recognize the poison they are spitting to our president's family. Maybe this will encourage media like CNN to stop writing bad lies to all of the Americans. Share to spread the good news. You do nothing for the black people and I'm tired of that, Sheriff Clark with threatening message for corruptive liberals. We all know Sheriff Clark is a big patriot, supports Donald Trump and has his feuds with the liberals often. Recently he said, you may know me you may not. I am one of those bare-knuckle fighters. When I hear people say we need to reach across the island work with the Democrats, you know what I say. The only reason I'll be reaching across the aisle is to grab one of them by the throat. And remind them that the American people have spoken. And they wanted Donald Trump to be the next President of the United States. He had interview with Business Insider explaining that the reason for him saying that is that Democrats do nothing for black people and he is tired of that. Also mentioning that he plays smash math politics and the left-wingers did not know what to do with him. What do you think of his statements? Share your thoughts. Exclusive behind-the-scenes pictures of George and Barbara Bush that will melt your heart. George and Barbara Bush warm the American people's hearts last night, with their coin toss despite George's recent health problems. We spotted tears in George's eyes when he received the ovations from the crowd. What warmed our hearts even more, was the fact that behind the scenes, while the couple prepared for the coin toss, they held hands. From anonymous source, 
we have pictures who witness of this act, from the couple who is 73 years in marriage. Credit, screen grab, NFL on Fox, what warmed our hearts even more, was the fact that behind the scenes, while the couple prepared for the coin toss, they held hands. From anonymous source, we have pictures who witness of this act, from the couple who is 73 years in marriage. George Bush, also required a coin so he can practice the flip, despite his health conditions. President George H. W. Bush tosses the coin for hash SB51 exclamation mark at Atlanta Falcons win the toss and defer. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash NFL, at NFL, February 5, 2017, slash slash platform dot twitter dot com slash widgets dot js, such a touching moment.